Being an anchor and journalist means sleep is always something we need more of. Between the long nights and early mornings, getting a good night's rest is certainly important. ABC News Live anchor Diane Macedo is no stranger to her share of sleep problems. Diane wrote the book The Sleep Fix, which explores her journey of insomnia and shares practical solutions. Now she has a new course, The Sleep Fix Method, and it takes a deeper dive into how to build those better habits. And joining us now, the anchor herself, Diane Macedo. Good to be sharing <laughs> The desk with I you. know it's it, fun to be on this side of we it. We normally pass like like ships in the night, and you know we've had these conversations because I too have have suffered. I, I actually felt your book was a real big help for me. I'm so glad with getting a better night's sleep. So tell us how this course differs from what we can get as far as tips in the book. So uh, one, I think so many of us attribute our sleep problems to oh it's my schedule or it's just work or whatever, and we normalize problems that we shouldn't normalize because they are fixable, even though sometimes we're made to believe that they are. And when I released the book, I got such a response from so many people saying, I mean, you're one of them, right? Saying, this book really helped me. This mm -hmm. book really changed me. And some of them were pretty dramatic. People saying, you know, I haven't had Ambien in eight months for wow. the first time in years because of your book. And so I thought, okay, this is... I'm onto something here, mm -hmm. you know, this is really helping people. But I also got flooded with a lot of questions of people asking about specific circumstances that they were dealing with. And some people who didn't want to read a 280, sure. you know, some odd page book about a comprehensive view of sleep problems in general and fixing them in general, when so many of them had the same problem. I struggle to fall asleep at night or I wake up at night and I struggle to fall back asleep. What specifically do I need? So I decided to create this course to give people, one, a different medium to get the information, more prescriptive information, you know, literally telling you step by step exactly what to do, and also to streamline it. So it, this is specifically for people who have, have that problem. I struggle to fall asleep at night or I wake up and I struggle to fall back asleep. This is the, a quick way for them to get those solutions and get those long lasting results. And this is, this question I know is gonna sound like an oversimplified of a difficult problem, but in the end, what worked for you? I had to merge a few different things because I, for example, I think the biggest thing is to find out what's causing your sleep problems before you start throwing everything at it. Because you might think that, oh, if I just try all of the solutions, that will be the best thing because something will work. But when it comes to sleep, if we try too hard, it actually backfires on you. Mm. Because when you create this idea that there are all of these things you have to do in order to sleep well, sleep becomes a chore, something you have to do, something you have to work for rather than something you get to do. And that means now when you're going to bed, your brain's in work mode. Instead of unwinding and saying, oh, I know what's happening now, we're getting ready to go to bed, your brain's like, oh, I know what's happening now, we have to check off all of that stuff. And that often fuels insomnia, or if it already exists, it makes it worse. So you really want to, we, we want a scalpel here, not a sledgehammer. And so part of my mission with the sleep fix is to help people first pinpoint what's causing your sleep issues. And let me ask you a few questions, you know, and I do this in the course and in the book. Let me ask you a few questions to help you narrow down and describe to you a few different things and you tell me what sounds familiar. Because from there, then we can steer you in the direction of, okay, here are a series of evidence-based solutions proven in clinical studies to be effective that are specifically aimed at that problem. And what that does is not only do you get results, but you get results without trying a million different things and making all these big sacrifices that you don't necessarily have to make. So you get those results without all the stress and without feeding into this problem that's already causing. And for me, circadian rhythm was a big one because of my schedule. So I learned some really practical tips to kind of shift my circadian rhythm, almost as if you're get preparing for jet lag. One of the surprising things I learned is you can accidentally train your brain through your behaviors to think you're supposed to be awake in bed. Mm -hmm. And that's why so many of us are dozing on the couch one second, oh, and all of a sudden you get that. in bed and you think, oh my goodness, I was just falling asleep. Why am I wide awake now? It's because your brain has learned that bed is a place, a stressful place where you need to be alert. So instead of winding down, it triggers your fight or flight response. If your routine consistently ends in you wide awake and frustrated, that routine will just continue to send the message that now it's time to be awake and frustrated. So you need to find the more practical solution for that problem. Diane, thank you thank so you, much Lindsay. for joining us. Want to let our viewers know her course, The Sleep Fix Method, is available on the site, thesleepfixmethod.com. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.